This is it. I know it looks tempting, but please do not destroy that plasma container. It powers this whole laboratory. Sorry for making you run around like that. But because of the recent increase in Terminator patrols, I couldn't get to that spider scout myself. Can I see it? Thank you. I have a gift as a token of my appreciation. While you're out looking for my spider scout, I used some leftover parts to make a new radio for you. I've been picking up your signal for a while now, and I imagine that Skynet has as well. So, I've made it harder to decipher. You won't have to worry about them eavesdropping. You've been listening, so you know why I'm here. Yes. Now, let me see that gun. What a beauty. I've got to tell you, if Skynet wasn't so gung-ho about killing everything... <laughs> what's interesting about it is that the matter inside is far more condensed. That way, it releases more energy on discharge, dealing much more damage. And also, its plasma blast is violent, so that's different. Can you bypass the encryption lockout so we can use it? Alvin couldn't. Alvin couldn't bypass an egg timer if his life depended on it. I'll do it, but it's not that simple. First, you'll have to bring me Skynet's latest security codes. Security codes? They will allow us to access Skynet's mainframe. But they change them regularly, so I need you to connect to any HK unit and download the newest security codes. To do that, you'll need my code reader. When I was... Excused from the shelter, they made me leave all my equipment behind. Alvin should have my code reader. Okay, is that everything? As far as the security codes go, yes. Then I'm moving out. Actually, I've got a question about that infiltrator that you have there. Is it intact? Or more specifically, its neural net CPU? I've been hacking Skynet's units, and I'm noticing similarities in their patterns. I think I'm ready to reprogram the CPU from that infiltrator. It's more powerful than any other. Should I ask Baron about that, too? No, 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 she can't know about it. She would not approve. I know how this sounds, but you need to steal it for me. What? I'm the only one that can reprogram that chip! For some reason, Skynet has started to learn at a geometric rate. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming, and I believe that having an infiltrator on our side will give us the advantage. Just think about it. Commander. Rivers, what's the status? Max alive. He will help us, but he needs a device he left at the shelter. All right, we can do that. Report to me when you get back. Over and out. I have to say, you're doing quite well. What are you doing here? You have to get the ones you care about to leave the shelter. They'll be in great danger if you don't do what I say. But remember, Jacob, that has to stay between us. Why? Because things need to play out the way they're supposed to, that's why. I have been here from the beginning. Each of your friends already knows the reason they need to leave. You just have to remind them.
Can I tell Commander Baron? No, she won't allow it. Then she will start to question you and keep you away from your missions. That cannot happen. Who the hell are you? That, I can't tell you. It could change the choices that you make in the future, and we can't have that. So whatever happens, you can't know my identity. Not yet, at least. Do you know anything about a CPU that Mac wants me to steal? I do. If hacked, we could take over an infiltrator. Dr. Mac is capable of doing that. I'm not so sure if Alvin can. I think you should steal it. I think I'm more confused than I was before. Just stay focused. We'll see each other soon. Good. Quiet means we're not getting shot at. Rivers. DN four six eight nine zero. Welcome back, Sergeant. Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills. How did it go? I've been to Hollywood Hills and found your old house. Did you? Your husband left for Mexico. What are you talking about? I found this letter in your house. It's from Peter. It says that he's heading there to look for you. He couldn't find me when I was right under his nose. How's he gonna find me in Mexico? What a sweet fool. You should go look for him. Ah, you're right. I have to find him before he hurts himself. Baron's not gonna like that, but she never scared me. Thank you for finding him for me, Jacob. I forgot. What was I supposed to bring? You know what? You're lucky. No one will ever mistake you for... ...a machine. What do you mean? Exactly.
you heard that Dr. Max still alive? Yeah, if I ever get my hands on him, I swear to God. Huh, you're back. How is Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Is he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Mac say anything else? No, that's all he said. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me. Alvin! Huh? Uh. You know what? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there alone. No one's bothering him. If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes, about that. Um, do you remember that day in downtown? I do, it was very traumatic. And because of that, I may have forgotten to bring back some things. Including that device? And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost! Hey, Alvin! Could you keep it down? I'm working with highly sensitive instruments here. I don't want to recalibrate them every time you say, hey. Anyways, I'm busy. Come back later. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost. Hey, Jacob, what's happening? Baron wanted me to ask about that buggy. Is there a problem? Yeah, she's been nagging me to fix the electronics in this piece of shit for a while now. Do you think you can help me with it? <laughs> Why are you asking me? You're the mechanic. Listen, I'm good with tools. You give me a car with a gasoline engine, I'll make it run. But this electronic shit? I don't know anything about that. You know, most of my life, I live without electricity. Why not tell her? She won't let me cherry-pick my own responsibilities, you know that. She'll throw me right out of here if she finds out. That's why I need your help. 
quartermaster will give you all the parts and tell you what to do. Just think about it. I'm here to pick up parts for that buggy. Wasn't Ryan supposed to take care of that? Baron specifically asked me to keep an eye on him. Can he really fix it himself? No, he's been lying so that Baron would let him stay. Uh, she knew something was up all along. I'm going to I know. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? What the fuck, Rivers? What'd you think would happen, huh? Baron's kicking me out. That what you wanted? I'm a dead man. Look like fives to you. Command. Uh, Ryan said there. Right? Well, here goes nothing. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. <gasps> But hopefully we won't have to much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know, I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before machines hurt me. Apart from plasma burns, I've got man-made scars underneath these tattoos that I'll never forget. On the good days, they don't hurt, and I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad days, they make me want to quit, give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let it happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. You look shocked. But I think I can find a way to persuade you. If you're into it, that is.
I, I can't do it. <laughs> That's the first time you've actually managed to surprise me, Rivers. And as for Mac, don't disappoint me. Dismissed. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost! I'm here. Good. I marked the location of Max Code Reader and the battery pack on your map. Let me know when you find them.
Wait! You shouldn't be here. Skynet's right around the corner. Yeah? Show me a corner Skynet's not around. You can leave now, because I'm not opening this door for anyone or anything. I'm just here to help. You want to help me? Fine. Go to my hideout at the metro station and bring back my transmitter. Then you'll help me. All right, I can do that. How do you know I'm getting closer? There are still plenty of resistance sensors in the area. I see everything. I'll be your eye in the sky. Great. the battery. Alvin, I'm halfway there. Well, that's not quite true. Once you get the code reader working, you still have to find an HK to connect to. But don't worry, I'm sure they call them hunter-killers just for intimidation. <laughs> 